The Bengal breed was originally developed in California from a hybrid of an Asian leopard cat to a domestic cat. The Asian leopard cat is a small leopard like an ocelot or a margay, but it comes from China rather than South America, and it's also a, a little wild cat that's not endangered. And they used to be sold in pet stores as, as pets, and this one lady named uh, Jean Mill purchased one, and it bred her domestic cat. She assumed that the offspring would be uh, sterile, like most hybrids are, but the females are actually fertile. Once they get to the fourth generation, you have both fertile males and females, and you have a new breed, and those are the ones that we're showing now. The breed started about 14, 15 years ago. It's only been recognized for showing in Canada for about the last six years. In the United States, about eight or nine years. In one word, they're very outgoing, very social, they love people. Uh, they are into everything, very busy, very active. They're not a cat that just lies around all the time. They're wanting to be uh, with you and on you and helping you type and helping you do the dishes. They're very, very personable cats. They travel very well. They seem to be very uh, um, adaptable. And uh, if you take them in a car, they'll stand and look out the window like a, like a dog rather than hiding under the seat and screaming like most cats will. They can be vocal if you teach them to be vocal. Uh, they, I don't like my cats to be noisy, so I don't reward them when they, when they make a lot of noise. If you get a new kitten and it cries and you pick it up, it learns within two days that by meowing a lot it gets attention. So um, they're very intelligent and they're not naturally noisy, but you can teach them to be pretty noisy. Uh, the Bengal is a, a very good cat with children. They're very tolerant. Uh, they will take an awful lot of abuse and, and uh, if they need to get away, they'll, they'll struggle away without using their claws. There's really not a lot of grooming or brushing involved with a bangle because they have a single uh, pelt-like coat. It's, uh, there's no undercoat, so they really don't shed very much. The, uh, just petting them is mostly enough to keep them shiny, um, maybe brushing them down with a chamois every once in a while, but uh, they really don't require brushing. Bengals live uh, average at cat years, which would be approximately 14 to 18 years. Some might go a little bit more. Others go less if they happen to be in contact with, uh, with diseases that are common to cats. The Bengal is a, is a breed that's extremely tolerant, and because of its high intelligence and um, the hybrid health that it tends to have, it makes a very good family pet. The ideal owner for a Bengal would be a person who's around quite a bit, uh, who's willing to spend a lot of time with their cat because a Bengal will demand their attention, and somebody who's willing to pick up on the cat's wants for new toys and um, to cat-proof their house because the cats will get into things if they're bored and they don't like to be left alone a lot. So children are great, families are great, very active families are wonderful for Bengals.